is my lunch break. I'm eating chicken noodle soup. So good. So this is my new vlog. And I'm recording the intro at my job on my lunch break. So this is 100% Amy. Thanks to Ryan of um, Yarn Hag Ryan podcast or a uh, YouTube channel she came up with the best name so I had to go with 100% Amy because it's not just gonna be crafting it's not just gonna be knitting it's gonna be all Amy all the time just me so I hope you enjoy I did a little cutting of fabric last night and I'll have that in the vlog for the giveaway bag I have a lot of things I need to craft because Christmas is right around the corner and I give gifts and I like to make gifts. So yesterday was a very productive day, but I didn't record anything but me cutting fabric. So today I'm going to try a little bit better and record some stuff. This is kind of going to be like Aquila style, a lefty knitter, except for I'm going to try to upload two times a week. So it's not so long because we all know I'm long-winded but I'm going to eat my soup that looks like a casserole now because all the liquid is evaporated out of it and then I'm gonna knit some so I hope you all are having a lovely day and I'll check back with you the sounds of Albany Georgia sirens okay so who does not like to count rows when you're knitting because I don't and it shows because I'm knitting my socks and it's pretty obvious I have one extra row right here on this cuff and then it's pretty obvious I have about two extra rows underneath the cuff or maybe just, yeah, because if I had two there, then there's two more. So these are not sizing up. I'm not ripping back. They're for me. If they were for someone else, I'd be like, oh, maybe I should count rows. But who else doesn't like to count rows besides me? It's like seven o'clock in the evening and I want something to do and I can't figure out what to do. I'm thinking about setting up my new sewing box with and like sorting my patterns out which is like three patterns but I can't get to my sewing table because clothes are drying and my desk is a hot mess right now so I can't really do anything on it I just need to take time and clean I think my daughter is in the next room on the phone with her friend and teenagers talking on the phone that'll be fun so I brought my headphones or I could turn on some music in here and figure out what to do because I don't want to sit around all night. I want to do something productive. made a black cat out um, stitch ring stitch marker 
Alva Charm that I got from Joann's. Yeah, liking it. I made this little thing I got from Joann's into a zipper pull. That's pretty cute, right? I like that. It's probably gonna break, but I don't care. It's cute. It goes with the bag. It's kind of skull like. Yep. Got a bunch of stitch markers here that I've done. Um, that's upside down. Got a witch's hat, a black cat, a raven, and a skull, and some pumpkins. These are hair clips. These are the little tools I've been using. Where's my jump rings? Dude, jump rings. Oh, there's the jump rings I'm using. I don't know what size they are. I should have probably looked. But yeah, I'm just going to make stitch markers out of stuff. Because that sounds crafty, right? In. Today is November 3rd, Wednesday. It, it took me like all day to realize it was Wednesday. It's like 3 o'clock. But I have two things I want to discuss. I ran out of clonopin. Because my doctor only called me in one month's worth. So my doctor's appointment's next week. And I don't take it every day. So I don't know why I'm sure I ran out. But I'm taking generic Benadryl to calm down. And also, my cabinet door fell off. So how about that? I get to stare at the cabinet, what's inside it. Anyways, I asked on, what's it called, Instagram, a Q and A. About ask me anything I'll probably do this once a week just to have some content but if you have a question for me next week look for my Q&A or just send me a message on Instagram happy little yarn and I will answer it but oh, the cabinet's open um, yeah I'm gonna answer those later so I'm going to try to get this vlog up tonight. I want to have these up Thursday mornings and Monday mornings. I think that's Sunday or th I think third. Because I'll do a lot on Sunday. Maybe Thursdays and Sundays. But Sunday nights. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hello again. Let's see if this helps. Not really. That's a good shade. Okay. So I had a few Q&As. Just like three. So we'll go through them real quick. The first one was. Um, what food do I not allow in my house? Well it's not me that doesn't allow it. It's my husband. He doesn't like anything pumpkin. So we don't get pumpkin pie, we don't get pumpkin muffins, we don't get pumpkin spice, anything. Which is fine because I've never really had much pumpkin stuff, so I don't know what it tastes like. But, 
I do have a real pumpkin in my living room right now as decoration. This weekend, I'm going to cut it up and cook it and make it into muffins. And I'm going to make him try it. So maybe then pumpkin won't be outlawed anymore if it's good. I doubt he'll like it, but we'll see. And one thing I would outlaw, I don't know, I'm pretty open to trying anything. I mean, I'm not picky. I don't want to try duck for some reason. I was forced to eat duck one time under pressure and I don't remember if I liked it, but I just didn't want to eat it. Webfoot animal? I don't know. And then somebody asked, do I have any tattoos? <gasps> no. Several reasons why. A, and most importantly, I'm scared of needles. Very scared. Ten minutes! We're cooking chicken fajitas. And, um, I'm scared of needles. Very scared. They give me anxiety. Really bad. So, that's one reason why I don't have a tattoo. Another reason is my husband doesn't really want me to get a tattoo. He's not a tattoo person. I like tattoos. I would get one. It's not like he would divorce me or anything. It's just like he would frown upon it. I don't know why. He's just a little on the mm, side. But anyways, I want to show you the two tattoos I've always, well, one I've always wanted, and I'll put it right here. Can you guess what it is? I would get it on my ankle too. Those four dots. I think it's four dots. Three or four dots. Can you guess what it is? No? Nah? Oh, you know it though. Okay, you're good. But it's the symbols for the ink cartridges you put in your printer. Because girls got nerd skills. I'm good. I'm good at printers. I can make them work. But, um, yeah, it's the one tattoo I've always wanted because it looks the least painful and it's cute and subtle and I'm cool with that okay and most recently I found a tattoo and I'll put it right here it is the Roman numeral 42 and I like the number 42 it is my favorite number because it is the answer to life the universe and everything so it's Roman numeral 42. And I would want it right there too. I think that would be cute. And finally, I had a question. What color would I dye my hair if I could dye it any color? Well, I've had it pink before. And I'll put a picture right here to show you. It has been pink. The tips have been pink. Like from like here down. I would like to do that again. With this haircut... With just highlights of that pink. I don't know if that's professional being a director where I work. I mean, one girl's got her head half shaved, so but she's not a director. So if I'm like in management, should I get my hair pink? I don't know. I was thinking dark red low lights and highlights at one point a couple weeks ago. But I think I'm going to stick to my natural color. But yes, the light pink, like rose gold pink. Ooh, that'd be pretty too. But a light pink is my favorite way to go for my hair. It just gives it a little pop. But that's all the Q&A I've had so far. If I get any more, I'll save them for next week. Um, we're having chicken fajitas for dinner tonight. I think I'm just going to knit tonight. I was going to sew, but... It's already like 6 o'clock. I'm going to start a muscle bird hat. Muscle burra hat. Is that how you say it? I don't know. It's got a G. It's a G-H. So I guess it ain't burg. Burra hat. 
and I'm going to knit it with Ryan of the Yarn Hag Ryan, and we have an idea. But I have to get my row on minis first this Friday when they come in. And I will share with y'all what we're going to do. And it's going to be really fun. And hopefully it goes quick. So. I also want to knit leg warmers. Because. I saw a call for test knitters for plus size leg warmers yesterday. My friends talked me out of it, but I still want to. Might look up that post and see if they're still saying, you know, help wanted. I'm not your girl. I'm awful at test knitting, but I just love the idea of knitted leg warmers. Does anybody want to knit along? I know there are other patterns for leg warmers. Does anybody want me to like host a knit along? I could do a giveaway and a knit along for knitted leg warmers adult ones too you got to get out the yarn and knit yourself some it's a selfish knit along i'm starting it right now who wants to join anybody nobody am i gonna be the only one i probably won't even finish either it's okay let's just start it and what, what couldn't hurt right you can always frog it later it's fun just the idea of it <sighs> Yeah, I don't think I could host that. That'd be like a year-long knit along, wouldn't it? For me, it would be. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Put some ideas in the comment box below. And let me know what you think about knitted leg warmer. Not leg warmers, no! Leggings! What am I saying? I'm going to put a sample picture right here to show you what I'm talking about. I think Stephen West has a pattern. I might list that picture. Not leg warmers. Leggings! Who's into leggings with me? Like the whole pants. Pajama pants type thing. Yeah. I'm posting a lot of pictures right here. So y'all take it in because I hate editing. I'm going to try to make my music fade in and out too this video. The software I have doesn't really do that. So, I think I'm going to have to find a new software soon. If I'm going to keep up these vlogs twice a week. Or I might use my iPad. Does anybody have an Apple product like an iPad? Does that movie, iMovie work good? Do y'all know? I have an iPad. I've never only used it to watch YouTube. I'm Droid and PC for everything else. Okay, well, I got to go cook. So, I will check back in with you later. So, I'm predicting nothing else is going to happen tonight. I'm going to go ahead and upload this vlog. And hopefully I have something creative to do this weekend. So, I can share it with you. But, I hope you enjoyed. Um, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.